In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions. So let's say you have a fraction like 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. Now, when you're dealing with fractions, there's two terms that you're always going to need to be familiar with. And these terms are numerator and denominator. With fractions, the numerator is always the term on top. And the denominator is the one on bottom. So to add this two fractions, what you would do is take your numerators, whatever they are, and add them together. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. Then with your denominator, it's a little bit different. With your denominators, you will always just slide the denominator over. So it's going to be 5 sevenths as your answer. Now subtracting them is just the same thing. Let's say that you wanted to subtract something like 5 sevenths and 3 sevenths. Okay, it's going to be the same exact concept. You're going to do 5 minus 3 to get 2 over your denominator of 7, which is 2 sevenths. Now, let's say that you have fractions with what we call an uncommon denominator. So let's say you have 2 thirds plus something like oh, 3 fifths. As you can see, the denominators are not common with these two fractions. So you can't just do the same thing that you did before. So what you have to do is you have to get a common denominator. And in order to do that, the easiest way to do it is you take this denominator and you multiply by the other one. And then for the other fraction, you'll do the same thing. So what I mean by that is you'll take your 2 thirds and you'll multiply by 5. And you get this 5 from right here. And there's a rule with fractions that says what you do to the bottom, you always have to do to the top. So you're going to multiply the top by 5 as well. And then on the other fraction of 3 fifths, you're going to do the same type of thing. You're going to take your other denominator, which is 3, and you're going to times the top and bottom by 3. And what that will give you is 10 over 15 plus 9 over 15. Now, as you can see, our denominators are now common because they're both 15. So 10 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths. You're going to do the same rule as you did before. 10 plus 9 equals 19 over, slide your denominator over, 15. 19 fifteenths. And technically, that is actually a correct answer. But depending on the teacher, that you might lose points for just leaving it as 19 fifteenths. So to make that as a mixed number, you would say, how many times can 15 go into 19 without going over? And the answer is one time. So you would take a 1, and then what is left over when you try to take 15 into 19? And that is 4. So it's going to be 1 and 4 fifteenths. And that would be your answer as a mixed number.